Let's discuss. It's Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I'm gonna be checking out a new track from Left to Suffer called Primitive Urge which features Joe Bad from Fit for an Autopsy so needless to say I am very stoked to check out this track. Fit for an Autopsy is one of my favorite bands. Joe Bad one of my favorite vocalists in all genres ever so Seeing him paired with Left to Suffer has me very stoked. I will link the music video that I'll be using in this reaction as well as all of Left to Suffer's social media and whatnot in the description of this video. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. These visuals are on point too. Counting down while I'm losing my head with my feet on the ground. Fell in love with what it is. Silently touching those instruments. Because I'm feeling alive. I'm manipulating others. This is part of your time. I'm trying to justify the only form of self punishment is on the inside. Oh, I feel that. Ooh. Left to Suffer, Primitive Urge, featuring Joe Bad. Let's discuss. It's got chaos, heaviness, but also a bit of, you know, reliance on the synth. And you have the spoken word that we hear a lot in their discography. That's something that's included a lot in their sound to kind of balance out like that extreme heaviness and aggression. Uh, or at least how I perceive it when I'm listening. But anyway, uh, this track is one, and I've been really, sorry, before I, I start with that thought, I've been digging the more recent singles a lot more than it seems like the people that I've been discussing them with have. So with this track, I feel like I, I won't be so uh, on my own with that. But though I do find like Snake is the most recent single that they've put out prior to Primitive Urge. And I was really feeling the cleans and the chorus on that track when it came out, but it, it was, 
similar to what's been happening with their more recent singles uh, and with and dying forever for me it didn't stay on repeat for me it sort of fell off and it's still something i i occasionally revisit but it went from being a track that was on my daily playlist that i make uh, like every day to being something that it, it didn't quite come to mind as much so i was trying to figure that out but with this i feel and it's not it's not based on the Joe Bad feature either. I feel like having a feature with a name like that, for me, where a Fit for an Autopsy is one of my favorite bands of all time and stuff, it would be really easy for that to be a driving factor, but it didn't feel like the feature was like the main focus or, or anything like that. It was other, though I loved it, don't get me wrong, uh, it didn't feel like it was, you know, one of those, I guess, pillars like I was talking about before with the sound that uh, left of suffer has overall i guess like just a bit of a different context but anyway uh with this you have like i was saying like that chaotic the blast beats the the stuff that drives and like digs a little bit deeper uh, but then at the same time what i was talking about with having that spoken word uh, because i think that's important because relentless like non-stop heaviness is something that's really common and, and people love that and stuff but i think that adding those moments into the tracks and stuff really give left to suffer an identifiable sound so, like i've i said it's very present in their discography so it becomes something that like i associate with their sound and such and and just adds a little bit more character i think than just doing straightforward heavy or you know what i mean uh, if that makes sense so having those moments it kind of gave me a little bit of a feel of like what I was feeling listening to On Death for the first time and stuff because that those moments were uh, it provided a lot of build up I think to some of the the big breakdowns on On Death and stuff and I hate to reference so much in their discography but that was just such like a a big release for me and is a sound that is something I am I'm still revisiting all the time with all the music that's been coming out everything that's been happening since uh, you know 2020 2019 was really the first year where like releases were overwhelming to me we had so many but it felt like every year from there we've just kind of upped the bar more and I'm not sure if that's because I'm listening to more music or what but anyway my point being in a really long-winded way uh, that on death has stayed on rotation throughout all of that and I think that releases that do that I, I often find myself referencing in, in any way. So I don't mean to hold them to, like, I don't want them to release On Death 2 and On Death 3. You know I want them to do different things, and I'm really excited to see them working with Ashtone Audio and stuff because this had that same, I, I think, ability to hit with those those types of details, the spoken word, uh, some of the leads, the buildup that you feel going into that that big drop where you've got, like, I don't even know how to describe it. You probably know what, what drop I'm talking about. I think it was about middle of the song, but the buildup that you can feel, I think synth was what it was. I need to do more li listening to the song, but stuff like that being uh, identifiable as you're listening and being able to be felt as you're listening, I think is extremely important, and especially with their sound. So this track has what I've been looking for from them when it comes to the production side of things. Uh, and it's not been that it's it's that I've disliked it so much. I think it's just the way that things have to align for, for them to hit at their full potential. Sorry that this is such a long-winded way. I have been like going over this and over this and trying to figure out what it is for quite some time because as much as like some of the songs I've wanted to have like on repeat the way I've had depression and anger and even the tracks that had features on that release they didn't stick out to me the most and that's how I know this band's potential is is crazy because the features they had on that for being a release that sort of put them further on people's radars and got people talking about them as, as a band more I know that they have stuff from prior to that release but that felt like we all kind of got left to suffer on our radar with that release but having those bigger features on there uh, i was expecting a certain bargaining i was expecting to be my favorite track hands down having a tom barber feature was huge but those things weren't the biggest moments of that release i suppose so i'm excited to see what else they worked on with ashtone and to see what they'll continue doing because uh, one thing they've showed us is that they're trying new stuff they've been working with different producers they worked with howard benson on on stuff they worked with 
you know, they've moved things around and are just trying, it seems, to get, like, what works for them. So I, I'm feeling a lot of these songs, but this, I'm hoping, will stay on rotation for me since I enjoyed it so much. The Joe Bad feature uh, was a, a huge plus, but I think that having the quality of sound here with Left to Suffer and, and that delivery from Taylor and, and, I don't know, because Snake, I'm kind of just ranting here. I feel like I should cut myself off because I'm just sort of talking. Six minutes I've been talking. We're good. We're I'm done. That's all I'm gonna say. And sorry, oh God. not a good outro, but it's about to suffer. Primitive urge featuring Joe Bad. I will link all of their social media as well as the music video that I used in the reaction in the description of this video. I will also have my link tree, which I talk about in every video. It has the invite for the Discord server where our community is based. We have music related channels and conversation merch last fm upcoming release dates new music spoiler threads all sorts of stuff as well as unrelated to music conversation general where we talk about whatever pets entertainment all sorts of stuff so if you're interested in coming to join check out the community that will be there as well as my instagram profile link where i post all music related content my merch collection which i am constantly adding to sometimes about shows if i've been to one recently and have pictures or videos to share from that I post a chart every Friday of what I've listened to the most over the course of the week. Top 25 albums, EPs, singles, whatever I've been listening to and how much I've been listening to each thing on the chart. That sort of stuff, you get the idea. My handle on there is the same as my YouTube channel. It is Rachel Reacts. But again, it will be in that link tree in the description if you have any interest in following me. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.